Okay guys, so good evening. So I just want to share with you kung paano i-fix yung issue regarding this one. Okay? So, uh, gusto kong i-share sa inyo kung paano ko siya na-fix using uh, Node Live Server na package. Ito. Ito yun. So, um, so let's, let's start with it. So, first is... Uh, make sure na dapat naka-install sa computer nyo yung uh, live server na package node. So, um, kung hindi nyo pa alam yun, kung paano install uh, panoorin nyo yung isa kong video kung paano siya install. Ito yun. So, uh, kapag na-install nyo na, next step is to first is create a index HTML. So, from my part, nakapag-create na ako. So, ito siya. Okay. So, ang next step is, kung mapapansin nyo, itong script ko dito. So, naka-indicate yung source and then, naka-indicate yung type na attribute. Wherein, make sure na yung value niya is module. So, again, script, yung source, yung JS file, make sure na tama yung path, yung attribute na type, and then value na module. So, pag nagawa nyo na yun, um, second step, syempre, is to make sure na merong existing, syempre, may existing na JavaScript file. So, in my case, may kita nyo dito, uh, ito yun. Ito yung JS file ko. Yan. Alright. So, kung napapansin nyo, meron na tayong mga in-import na JavaScript files here. Ayan. Ayan. And then, dito gumawa na parang nag-create na ako ng, ng ano tawag yun, mga test data. So, gumagana na yan. So, mamaya may kita nyo na gumagana yan. So, next is, kapag na-import nyo na siya, syempre, make sure na tama yung pagkaka-export sa bawat file. So, paano gawin yung export? So, export, function, and then, yung function name. So, anything else, ganun din. Export, function, and then function name. So, pwede natin i-discuss kung ano yung, ano yung, uh, paano tayo, paano gamitin si export in a different, siguro in a different lesson. But from here, I just want to share kung paano lang i-fix yung issue regarding this one. So, ayun. So, kapag ka nagawa nyo na yan, so, na double check nyo na na yung source nyo nandito na yung, yung source na javascript file nandito and then yung type module and then iron na natin siya so open a new terminal and then live server and then dot okay alright so makikita nyo dito yan alabas so open natin yung console and then, kung mapapansin nyo, ito na siya. So, balikan natin yung yung JS file. Huh? Ayan. So, console log uh, user. Alright. So, mapapansin nyo, ito na yung object na nakalate natin. So, ipig sabihin yan, guys, gumana. Oh my God! Na import na natin siya na maayos using that fix. So again, remember, make sure na naka-install si live server. Second thing is yung script tag, make sure na may attribute na type module. Type then yung value niya is module. And then make sure na tama yung uh, pagkaka-import and export ng mga JavaScript functions ninyo. So I hope nakatulong sa inyo to guys and I hope na Kung meron man kayo ma-encounter or yung other friends na, other friends nyo na developer din, uh, uh, share nyo lang itong uh, video na to sa kanila. So, yun. Happy coding!